So in this video, we are going to learn how to create HubSpot contact for new Elementor form submission. Now suppose guys, you are using Elementor form and created some kind of online form and added it into your website or shared it with your users. Now you want that whenever you receive a new form submission, a new response in that form, using the same details entered by the user, you want to create the contact, add their person as a contact in HubSpot. But guys, the manual process of getting the Elementor form submission details and creating HubSpot contact is very much repetitive and time consuming. So in this video, we will see how you can automate this process. So in this automation, the trigger will be getting a new form submission, a new response in Elementor forms. An action will be adding the contact with the same form submission details in HubSpot CRM. So how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is a simple form which I have created using Elementor and I have added this form into my website. Now I want that whenever a user enters their details and submits the form, I want to add that same user as a new contact in my HubSpot CRM. And to make this happen, we have to connect our Elementor form with HubSpot. And we are going to use Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration platform to do so. So here you can see that we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard and to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. So after coming to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Elementor to HubSpot. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first, we have to connect this form which we have created using Elementor with Pavli Connect so that every time we receive a new form submission, a new response in this form, we will get that same form submission data in our Pavli Connect workflow. And after that, using Pavli Connect, we are going to send those same form submission details to HubSpot and using those details, we are going to add that user as a new contact. So let's see how it is done. Now here in trigger window in choose app, search for Elementor. Just select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new form submission. After selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. And using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Elementor form with Pavli Connect. So how it is done? Let's see. Just copy this webhook URL from here and go to the form which you have created using Elementor. So this is the form. After opening this form in edit mode, just hover on it. And at the right top corner of this form, you have this edit form button. Just click on it. After clicking on it, here on the left side, you can see different edit options over here. Out of all of this, select actions after submit. And here in add action from the drop down, select webhooks. As you select webhooks over here, here you can see a new option of webhooks is added below it. Just click on it. And here in this option, you can see a field of webhook URL. Now here in this field of webhook URL, you have to paste the exact same webhook URL which we have copied from Pavli Connect. Just copy it from here and then paste it over here. After pasting this, just click on update. And yes, it is done. We have just now added this webhook URL in our Elementor form. Now every time we are going to receive a new form submission in this form, automatically that same form response will be received inside Pavli Connect. And we are going to do the same. We are going to make a test form submission in this form. Let's click on this preview form button and in the new tab, this form will open up in preview mode. And here we are going to enter the details of a dummy user. For example, demo user, this is the name. This is the email address of a test user. Then let's add a dummy mobile number as well. And then let's enter the city, for example, Delhi. Click on submit. So just now we have received a new form submission in this form which we have created using Elementor. And we will see as we receive this form submission, the same form submission details will also be received inside Pavli Connect. And yes, here in our Pavli Connect workflow in the trigger window, you can see the same response. In this response, you can see the same first name, same last name, same email, 
and the same each city as well also the same mobile number this means the step 1 of setting up this automation is completed now after this we have to move to the next step and in the next step using these details which we have received from element or form submission we have to create a contact in hubspot crm and to do this just scroll down come to our action window and here in choose app search for hubspot just select it after selecting hubspot crm an action event from the drop down select the action event as create a contact click on connect and select add new connection now here guys we have to connect our hubspot crm account with pavli connect and to make this connection click on this hub connect with hubspot crm button and then select your hubspot crm account in which you want to create the contact just select the account and then here we will see our hubspot crm account will get connected with pavli connect because we have already logged in to a hubspot account in our browser over here after connecting our hubspot account here you can see there are several fields of data which hubspot is asking us so guys here if you have received all of these details which we hubspot has asked us if you have received all of these details from form submission from the user you can basically map these details in the respective fields right now most of these fields are not mandatory not required so i am just going to ignore these fields for now so we will just scroll down and map the data in some important fields over here so here you can see there's a field of status in the drop down where we are going to select active then after that here you can see the field of role so here guys you can see in the drop down there you can see a list of different roles which we are going to assign to these contacts you can select the required role as well then after that we'll scroll down further and here you can see some other details over here like the time zone so you can see select the time zone of the contact which you are creating in hubspot so let me select my time zone over here that is asia kolkata so let me just select it from the drop down we will scroll down and here it is after selecting the time zone we will just scroll down and we will see the fields of some basic details like the first name over here so we have received the first name from elemento form submission responses inside public connect and from that same response of trigger which we have received from elemento we have to map the first name over here and the process of mapping is very simple simply click on this field and in the drop down below here you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from elemento and out of all of this responses select the response of first name and map it over here after mapping the first name it is asking us some other fields and here you can see the field of last name so just click here and from the drop down from element or form responses select the response of last name scroll down further map the field of email address just click here from the drop down map the email address and here you can see a field of phone number just click here and from the drop down map the phone number as well other than this you can see there are lots and lots of fields over here like here you can see city so from the drop down we have received the city and we are going to map it too so you if you want to add these details you just have to ask these same details in the element of form which you have created and added in the website right now i have just created a simple form and received all of these details which i have mapped in their respective fields and after mapping all the required details what we have to do we just have to scroll down and click on this save and send test request Now when we click on save and send test request here you can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the data which we have mapped over here basically the details of a user which we have received from element of form submission using the same details a new contact is created in our hubspot crm so let's check it we will go to hubspot and we'll go to the contact page over here and yes guys Here you can see that in our HubSpot CRM just now a new contact is added. The name of this contact is demo user. Here you can see the same email address which we have entered while submitting the form in Elementor. You can see the same number and other details as well over here. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation whenever we are going to receive a new form submission in Elementor automatically with the same form responses a new contact will be created in our hubspot crm so here guys we have successfully created this automation now let's test this automation workflow once in real time so one second we will go to this form which we have created using elementor and we are going to make another submission over here another test submission for example this time the name of the person is test user this is the email address 
एंड दिस इज द मोबाइल नंबर एट डमी मोबाइल नंबर द सिटीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल न्यू यॉर्क एंड क्लिक ऑन समिट सो जस्ट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अनदर फॉर्म सबमिशन इन दिस फॉर्म विच वी हैव क्रिएटेड यूजिंग एलिमेंटो and after making this form submission just now we have received a new response in element of forms and we will see instantly automatically with the same form details a new contact will be created in hubspot crm so let's refresh this contact speech of hubspot crm over here and yes guys here you can see that test user the same user whose details just now few seconds ago we have added while submitting the form the same user is added as a new contact in hubspot crm so you can see the same name same email address same number and other details as well so this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine and we have tested this automation in real time so not just these applications guys you can connect plenty of other applications using public connect and one more important thing you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone this exact same workflow into your own public connect account and use this automation workflow for free also let me tell you public connect offers you a free plan and in this plan you will get some free task every month into your own public connect account so if you want to try and test this automation you can do it for absolutely free If you have any kind of doubts or queries you can post them on forum.pavli.com so if this video was helpful to you you can obviously like this video comment down your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others so guys that's it for today's video thank you have a great day